Well, in the midst of spring cleaning, you might decide it's time to give your home a new look. And if you need ideas, the inspiration might come from what you wear. Design expert Howard Eason is here to show us how fashion design can inspire home design. What a great idea to talk about, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I wrote an article about it, and I thought it would be great to bring to the show. We love it. Let's talk about the simple black dress and how it influences home design. Oh, yeah. So the simple black dress, I look at it as monochromatic design. Monochromatic means that it's just a base color that you use that can be that you can actually add color to it to give it a little bit of pop okay. so like for instance this this um, example here this is a draping that I did so mm -hmm. think of this as a black dress All so right. if you add the necklace Belanda see how the color adds pop yes. right. so if you have like those boring colors I mean I know gray is the new neutral I love gray yes. okay. so you're you know? wearing it so well thank, yes. you. <laughs> thank you very much thank you and also beige everybody has beige so mm -hmm. if you just take a look at these two samples I have here these mm -hmm. are fabric samples okay. so the gray if you just turn that over for me See how the pop of color will add just a lot of pizzazz to Ooh, it, same yes. as, as the necklace does to the black dress. Right. So think of monochromatic, and also think of themes as well. So this could be easily like an ocean theme, so you okay. have the blue of the ocean, you have the rocks and the sand. Ooh. So turn over this um, beige one as well, so a lot of people have beige in their homes. Oh. So think of this as a pop of color as well. So you can think about a vacation in Sedona, where you have the clay mountains and oh, things like that. So, so think of it as that, and you would never go wrong. But <laughs> adding the pop color always exactly. makes a difference. What I'm thinking is a sofa this color with pillows and the red. Yes, colors. yes, yes. That is the perfect example of using color in your space. Oh, and also, And then also, you know, in fashion design, we think about makeup as well. So think about your walls as being the makeup of the room. Oh. So you can also add color, visual uh, appeal that way as well. Okay, then we've got our showstopper evening gown. So walk us through that. Yeah, the evening gown. So when you watch the Emmys and the, you know, all these Academy Awards shows, you know, it really promotes fashion, I mean, excuse me, um, uh, fabric and textiles. Okay. So it's production. So we get a lot of that as examples in evening gowns. So I know this year the big thing was blush. Okay. The blush tones. Yes. I know a lot of people wore that. And one of my favorite shows is Project One Way, Runway. And the thing that they introduced was lace, like layered lace. Okay. So here is a, a sample of layered lace. It adds some decadence to your design okay. to your yes so the way that you add luxury to your room is embodying those things that add sparkle show me your watch oh. alex see how that adds decadence and yes, decadence. luxury <laughs> to luxury. what you're wearing so wow. what you want to do in design is add those things that have bling so like the, the shine factor okay. yes you can do that in your draperies Ooh. you can do that with the accents but also go with something that's three-dimensional see how these elements have a lot of dimension to them they're yes. just not a they're flat, not flat. Yeah. it's not just a flat surface as design love absolutely that. so make sure you look for those things for okay. luxury and finally the ready to wear look ready to wear so ready to wear is about print and by the way you all are wearing print <laughs> very We're well that print. <laughs> very well <laughs> good job good job but the thing is is that sometimes with print you don't know how to mix them up so right. Valanda you're doing an excellent job with Max, matching your earrings to your dress. Thank so you. sometimes you just look at color mm -hmm. as the uh, as the base to connect the two. Gotcha. And also you look at the lines. All so right. in these two examples, you have color here where you have just a subtle bit of gray uh -huh, okay. in, in this pattern. And it's also geometrics, which matches uh -huh. along with this gray. Okay. Okay. And in this, you have the lines, mm -hmm. and then you also have these little whimsical lines here. Right. And what blends the two is the fact that they're they're both in the same color palette. So we shouldn't be afraid to mix patterns, the stripes and the uh, the whimsical. Absolutely. So just look for geometry, look for things that are familiar, and also look for color. Oh. Yeah. And then one thing to tone down when you have a lot of color mm -hmm. is just to add a solid. So just Choose one of those solids that's a little bit less intricate in the pattern okay. and use that as a blazer or use that as a pillow or use that as so your So what artwork. would you choose as the solid with this example? So with this, you know, I love turquoise. Got it. Turquoise. There you go. That is the happening color now. So. <laughs>